Hello guys and welcome back. That noise. Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've been gone for so long. I haven't done a tutorial and a video. Excuse me for so for so long. It's been a couple of weeks, but I am trying the best I can. Uh, working kids and trying to fit this in, into my schedule is a little bit hard, but today I have for you guys a video on the new collaboration that Colourpop did mm -hmm. with Shayla and I have it right here. I have the collaboration right here and I'm going to review it and also try it on in my face. As you guys can see, I only have foundation. I'm going to try to talk over this damn truck that's trying to reverse. But I did do my foundation and contour and did my brows, concealer and all that good stuff. I'll leave it down in the description section below so you guys can check that out. But if you guys want to see me review the new ColourPop uh, collaboration with Shayla, then let's get to it. So excited to show you guys the new collaboration. The new collaboration. Oh my God. The new collaboration that Shayla came out with ColourPop. Shayla is also a makeup you could say artist here on youtube uh she does do tutorials and whew, here fine tutorials and things like that i'll leave her link somewhere here or not down in the description box below so check that out but i was so excited i was a little bit mad just because uh it did not arrive on time uh i guess ColourPop was having problems in shipping um shipping out their items just because there were so many of uh, people ordering uh the collection but I have it for you guys right here. Excuse me if you do hear that noise. It's my smoking alarm and I guess the batteries are running low. But I'm going to try to work with that and the damn truck. So let's get to it. The collection contains one palette. A palette that's called Perception. Shayla with ColourPop right there. That's how it looks I love the dripping uh how can you say it? dripping paint going down it's kind of like metallic and then the the rest of the box is like a matte black it also when you turn it around it has the name of each eyeshadow that is very 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 pretty it contains two uh loose powder highlights one and boomy and the other one and pose uh, you open it and they look just like this. I love the loose powder highlights. They're very, very, very pretty. So the box looks like this, the same as the eyeshadow. And then when you take it out, they look like these little containers like this. They're very pretty. So this one is called Booming and it's like a goldish highlight. And then this one is called Pose, where I feel like it's a little bit more bronzy. So, as well, it brings three lipsticks. One in called Au. I hope I'm saying that right. The other one in Quickie. And then the next one in Simon Sis. I'll be doing swatches. Um, I'll be doing swatches within the video. So you guys can see how the lipsticks and eyeshadows look like. It also contains one ColourPop, uh, what is this, a lip gloss. It's, it also contains a lip gloss. And then ColourPop was so kind to send me a free lipstick, uh, I guess because of the order came in late. So I appreciate that. Thank you so much, ColourPop. So you open the palette and it looks like this look at how pretty is that i love that the inside of the palette also matches the outside of the palette that's very 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 pretty i love the fact that it has like it pops of colors it also has the neutrals and sh like um shadows that you can use as an everyday look i love 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 that and with this first color right here is like an orangey brownish color and it's called thick thick i'm pretty sure that's what it's called 
and I'm going to take uh, this regular BH 101 brush and I'm going to use this color as my transition. It's a little powdery, but you'll see how pigmented it is. If you guys can see that, I love that color. Not loving the noise right now. That color is very, very pretty. It blends very nicely. I love ColourPop. I love their eyeshadows. I feel like are one of those brands that are inexpensive but the shadows are like high quality and I like that I like the fact that you also give the people that can not afford high-end makeup a chance to also slay with an inexpensive inexpensive um, brand but also get the same quality as a high brand can give you you guys can see that but that blended like a dream I love it and after that with this color right here that's called revenge is like a deeper brownish color right there and I'm gonna use that to put it inside my crease and also applying it a little bit on the outer part of my um my eye I just want to give it a little bit of the finishing a little bit of warmth to that, to that side, um, to this side of the eye. Don't know what look I'm gonna go for, but I am feeling like I'm gonna go into the warm side. Don't know why. That is very pretty. Look at that. That is gorgeous. After that, I'm going to oh, that noise, buddy. That noise. After that, I'm going to take a little bit of this darker color called Played Out. And it's like a darker brownish. It looks like I have a little bit of purple as well. But it's like a dark brownish color. I'm trying to see if you guys can see that because my light is a little bright. So I'm going to take that with uh, this Morphe E19 brush. It's like a pencil brush. And I'm going to just apply that on the outer part of my eye just to give it a little bit more uh, darkness in that area. I want it to look a little dark there. Just like that. Look how pretty. That's very pretty. After that, I don't know what eyeshadows to what eyeshadow what like I don't know what type of shimmer to use they are all pretty very 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 pretty I'm just gonna swatch this for you guys look at how pretty is that so so pigmented look at that that is very pretty I'm gonna keep it nice and simple for you guys keep it nice and simple for you guys I'm gonna use this color right here and it's called Spill the Tea. And it's like a pinky, champagne pinky color. It's right there. So pretty for you guys to see that. Look at that, that's so pretty. You can use this color as an everyday lid color. Uh, you can cut crease it. It is very, 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 very pretty. So I'm going to use this uh, eyeshader brush from Total Intensity. I hope that's how you say it. But I'm going to just put this in the inner half of my eye where I don't have no eyeshadow. Look at this. This is so pretty. And this is without even wetting the brush. Look at how pigmented that is. This is so pretty. So pretty. I'm gonna go back in with a little bit of that revenge color right here and just try to blend out those two colors without 
you guys seen that line right in the middle. After I apply that pink in the bottom, I have a little bit of glitter falling out or that sheen falling out with nothing that I cannot dust off or just kind of like dust it off with my makeup sponge or my beauty a beauty blender or a brush is nothing you know nothing crazy um, I'm also going to put a little bit of I'm trying to use as much as possible of these colors so I'm going to take I'm gonna take this color right here that's called Un unbothered and it's this whitish color right here I think is a matte if I'm not mistaken now this one also has a little bit of a sheen but I'm going to use that on my brow bone and as well on the inner part of my eye just to highlight that part. For, to finish under the eye, I'm going to take a little bit of the Revenge, a little bit of that brownish fetish color right there and I'm going to smoke a little bit of that the bottom lash line just a little bit just to intensify a little bit of that pink let's see moving on the lips I have three colors I have Aou. I hope that's what how it is look at this packaging a rose gold packaging I love it it has stars all over you guys can't see it because the stars are kind of silver but I love it. When you take it out, you have like this pretty nudie color. It's like a nudie orange color. It has a little bit of that pink, but you also can see the orange undertone. There is a quickie. Same packaging. And it's like a darker nude. And when you swatch this, this one is more like a pinky nude. The first one was more of an orangey nude. This one is more of a pinky nude. That's pretty, pretty, pretty everyday nude. The next one was, it's called uh, Simone Sis. And this one is a even darker nude. It has a little bit of that, you can say brown undertone and Ooh, this one is so pretty. Look at that. So, so pretty. It also comes, the collection also comes with a, a lip gloss. And it looks just like this. And it's called Neat Freak. And look at all those nice sparkles like a nude lipstick with a little bit of like crystals in it it looks so so pretty i want to try this one out so bad so i'm going to go in with a pinky nude and i'm going to go in with quickie and i'm just going to apply this on my lips i'm not going to apply no liner i'm just going to apply the lipstick to my lips because i'm going up over top it with lip gloss Ooh, very creamy, very pigmented. I love that. That's like a pretty everyday nude that is very, very pretty. Very pretty, look at how pretty is that? Especially with this like nice, uh, kind of like smoky look, the nude lip goes perfect with this, with this look. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment down below what you guys think about this lip combo with the eyes. I'm digging it, I like it. So I'm gonna take the lip gloss and neat freak and I'm going to apply it on the top I 
look at how look at how juicy my lips look right now i'm not really a gloss type of girl i'm more like into like matte or like semi-matte lipsticks i'm not really into the gloss but with with this lipstick let me see it looks so pretty it makes my lips look bigger for some reason this the lipstick with the lip gloss it makes it look it makes it appear larger like my lips bigger than what they are from what i'm seeing in the monitor because my lips are not that big but this lip combo is to die for i love it and last but not least i'm going to leave the i'm gonna leave my favorite part for last and our is the highlight i'm going to just apply each one and each cheek why not i'm gonna go crazy today so for the right side i'm gonna use boomy and it is this pretty pretty gold color it comes like this i had like a little sticky so i took it off and really 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 pretty it doesn't have glitter it's just a nice sheen i don't know if you guys can see that but it's like a pretty 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 right there a pretty sheen so i'm gonna apply that on the right side of my face on the right side of my face i'm gonna use my morphe e61 brush one of my favorite brushes to apply highlighter and i'm just going to mix the little bit that's there and I'm gonna apply it on my cheeks. Ooh, look at that. So I love, love this color. Look how, oh my God. And you don't even see glitter or nothing. It's just like that nice, like wet sheen. Like it's so so pretty look at that Woo! girl yes i think i'm gonna like this side better because it's more like my complexion side like it's more for my for my skin tone so i'm gonna take a little bit behind like the top kind of like tap some off and I'm gonna apply it on the other side. Ooh. That's so pretty. Look at that. This one is a little tad darker than this one. This one is more lighter, but they both Pretty, both pretty. A little bit on the tip of my nose, kind of going to the bridge as well. So I went and applied eyelashes off of camera. I use the Huda Beauty in Samantha, and I love these eyelashes. So this is how it looks and i love it i love how everything performed i love the eyeshadow palette i love the fact that it has a pop of colors it also has shadows that you can use as everyday looks i love the blendability of this palette i love the fact that you can build it up and it will look patchy or cakey i love every eyeshadow that i used on this palette i love i also love the yeah. I also love the lipsticks. Oof, they are very pigmented. The one that I used was called Quickie. And I love this lip color. It's like the perfect nudie pink color. As well as the lip gloss and the color. Ah, I just messed up my lipstick. As, a, uh, as always. As well as the lip gloss called Neat Neat freak i have it on top of the lipstick and i love how everything came out i love the lip combination with the eyes and the most exciting part 
of everything, the highlights. I have both highlights on. I have Booming on this side, that is like the lighter champagne color. And then I have Pose, that is like that darker uh, bronzy highlight, but they both look so pretty on my skin, on my complexion. Looks very pretty, and I'm pretty, pretty sure dark skin girls can also go uh, can get away with this highlight as well. It's very glowy. Look at that. Very glowy. No shimmer on the highlights whatsoever. It just looks very wet and very, very, very pigmented and highlighted. Like, oof, oof. I couldn't get enough of this collection. I loved every piece of this collection and I could... And I recommend for you guys to try it out. Let me know down in the comment section what was the best part of this video that you guys liked. Do you guys like the lip part, the highlight, the eyeshadow? What part of this video do you guys like the most? Are you guys interested in picking up this collection or bits of pieces of the collection? Let me know if you guys already have tried it. What are your thoughts on this collaboration? I cannot stop moving my head. Oh my god, this is and I love this. I truly, truly, truly love this collection. A ColourPop is an amazing brand and is very affordable. And I am so happy that I was able to buy these products and showed, uh, give you guys a review and a thought of this collection. And if you guys enjoyed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as that little bell. So I can order for you so I can notify you guys on my next video. And if you guys like seeing um, first impressions or review, as well, give it a like, a big thumbs up, and don't forget to leave me a little comments down below and saying hi, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye.